Pretty damn fancy, huh? Welcome to Flea Market Stories, documenting one man's journey into the world of flea marketing. Now, let's see what I can remember from last weekend. Uh, you already heard the conversation I had with, uh, with a comic book guy. We talked about Star Wars. You already heard what happened last week with the angry guy and the car stereo install. But uh, let's talk about three things. One is my new table placement. You saw... You saw the fancy table placement I had going, which I think I'm pretty much going to stick with that placement, which is my main table at the back and two long black tables at the corners. And then maybe stuffed animals at the middle. I guess I could add another table, but that's one reason I'm thinking about, you know, getting a dedicated flea market vehicle. I don't know if like the Mighty Impala can take like three folded tables and all my stuff. I think that's kind of like really pushing it. But you definitely could fit a third table in the middle there. You definitely could. So I'm really happy with that setup. I think that's going to be successful for me. That allows me also to put all my video games on the main table, which is my main bit of money makers, I would say, generally. You know, I mean, I might sell more of other things, but when somebody comes by and buys a game or two, you know, it's, that's you know, 20, 25 bucks. A lot of the other stuff I have is maybe dollar, two dollar items, but I like to put all my video games on the table where I'm right there with them, so that uh, lowers down any possible theft. You know, people have to come back; they got to come back to look at the video games. The second thing would be sunglasses. This is the first time I've ever put all of anything out, and it all sold. The very first time. And the gaming magazines really don't count because they're specifically for one uh, customer that likes video game magazines. So I won't really count those because I kind of hold those back for that one customer. That my, my one big spender hadn't been there in a little bit, so hopefully he makes his way back. But sunglasses, I had about six or seven pairs of sunglasses. Definitely six. I know it was six. And I put them down. And before the end of the day, all of them were gone. All of them were gone. Which is not surprising. I'll tell you why. Okay. We have an item that I priced at $3. And they were sunglasses with the labels on them. Now, I got these sunglasses from a dollar store. But they look... You know, you got to be be wary. Sometimes you have some errors and, you know, some maybe a scratch or two. But the ones I picked out were some really nice looking sunglasses. I mean, not high quality, but nice for the flea market. Right? Nice, cool wraparounds. Nice, cool wraparounds. So they fit many different categories. Many different categories. One, not that expensive. Two, a new item. Three, an item that pretty much anyone in their family can use. I mean, they're sunglasses. Even some of the bigger ones, you know, I mean, kids can wear the wraparounds. They might be like a little loose. I might expand in the future. You know, if people request, hey, bring some kids sunglasses, I may, I may. But it's also like a fun item. Ooh, sunglasses, right? You know, let me try on the sunglasses. Once you have people, actually, ironically, almost knocked off uh, my glasses there. Uh, once you, once you have people trying things on, you almost got a sale. You almost got a sale once they're there. They've made a decision to get one pair of those sunglasses. So, you know, just calm down. Don't say anything to them. You know, don't pressure them and everything. You know, you might look over. If they look at you and you go like, hey, you look kind of sharp in those, which is very uh, effective also if it's a female, right? Even if she doesn't look that good in them, you know, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I've got a couple sales just because I'm very friendly to the females. You know, the perks of being charismatic, attractive fella you know, sometimes that helps at the flea market. Okay, so the third thing, the final thing, I'll tell you about Panda Man. Panda Man. Uh, this guy, I forget exactly what he looks like, but he looks like the kind of guy that collects panda stuff. Like, pandas are cool. Like, I have no problem with pandas. You know, in Tekken, the panda is one of my favorite go-to fighters, actually. That bear hug, it's very funny. That dance he does, very funny, right? I guarantee you if I had a Tekken alternative cover, even if it didn't have the system, if it had a panda on it, 
he might buy it. So he comes by, he sees the panda in the little bin of stuffed animals. He instantly goes to the panda, holds up the panda like it's one of his precious babies. He walks it over to me and he goes, would, would you take a dollar? Because I have them marked $2. Now think about it for a second. And it's a kind of a big panda, right? Kind of a big panda. But I look at his arm. And he has a tattoo of a panda. I look at the man and I go, listen. To anyone with a tattoo of a panda asking me for a discount on a panda. Because you went and got a tattoo of a panda on your arm, you get the Panda Man discount. 